Every single day we get to see trees around and creating these scenes can be a little bit complicated. At the same time, you want to create something that is very believable and something that you can actually add up to your project. Creating trees itself is one thing, creating trees that do have simulations attached to them is another thing. At the same time, you want to create animations that has to do with trees growing. You probably also want to create animations of trees just moving left and right or you just want to populate your entire scene with so many trees. Creating these things can be a little bit of a problem and that is why today we're going to be looking at a plugin that actually gives you every single thing that you want in one package, although pricey, but then it gets the job done. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to look at how you can play with the Groove add-on which is available for Blender. So let's get right into it. So with Blender open here, what we want to do is to install the plugin. Now if you've downloaded the plugin and a couple of tweaks, what you need to do is to come over here, go over to the preference window and directly with the preference you can go through and click on install. Now once you click on install, navigate to the part where you have plugin, click on the Groove add-on and if you've downloaded a couple of tweaks, that will be perfectly fine. Next thing you need to do is to hit on install add-on and you have the add-on installed what you want to do next is just go through and close this okay so let's get right into creating these trees now if you want to create this it's pretty simple so if you hit shift and a you can actually create it from here or you can come over to this part where you have the add go to mesh and simply create a new one or if you press n on your keyboard so if we press N on our keyboard, you can see the groove here and you can click on add new groove. And with the add new groove clicked, you would notice that we have a couple of presets. These presets are interestingly nice. Interestingly nice in the sense that when you click over here and press the period key, you get to see these things as they are. So you can also switch between all of these and check out the different presets that exist. So if you've paid for those tweaks and you've downloaded them, of course, you're going to have so much fun working with this. And for this one, I'm going to just play with the oak. So by just simply clicking on the oak and hitting the word grow, you would see automatically we have an oak tree growing. Now let's just go backward a bit and explain a couple of things you need to know before you hit on the grow button. So if we just simply go back one bit, you would notice that here we have the end twig and we also have the side twig. Now these are the objects or these are the flowers or the leaves the twigs that are supposed to be grown in different parts of your model this right here has to do with the scale and here has to do with the number of trees that you want here has to do with how old this tree is so if we simply click on two we want to make two different trees and you can see that i'm just going to undo this a little bit more select this two press the period key again just to zoom right in what I want to do now is to actually change the age. Now, this is the amount or this is the number of years that this tree has lived. Let's just simply go back and just turn this to one, set it as it is. And let's say this tree has lived for the past 25 years. Now, with this tree set to 25, leaving the scale at one, which is perfectly fine, we can go ahead and hit the word grow. Now, once we hit the word grow, the Groove 3D plugin is going to go ahead and generate a 25 years old tree and you can see counting down here. So once this is complete, you're going to get yourself a 25 years old tree, which you can simply play around with and do whatever thing that you want. Now, since this tree is just going to keep growing, we're going to talk about some things that you need to know, especially if you want to customize this tree to your own advantage. So one of the things that we want to actually look at is with this tree grown and ready to use, we have a button here called the prune. Now with the prune, you can simply cut this tree the way you want. So let's say for example, we have certain parts like here and we want to simply just chop it down. We can also go through and just simply chop it down this way. All right. So by just doing that and pressing the space bar, we'll be able to split this in half, like just definitely split this. And you can see that right here. We can also do the same thing for this part. And you can also come over here and cut this tree here, press the space bar and get this going for you. If you want to create multiple lines, of course, you can also do the same thing. At the same time, if you don't really like the shading that you have in here, you can also come here, switch over to the matte cap and change the shading, you know, get something that suits what you want. You know get something quite interesting but now i think we're just going to keep it this way another thing that you need to know is depending on the tweaks and depending on the textures that you have when you go over to the shading you'll be able to see the texture directly on the model and this is pretty pretty clean a kind of thing that you know it would make a lot of sense if there is an entire library you know of assets where you just simply have to click and drag click and drag 
instead of creating these trees at the same time it kind of makes a lot of sense that you can go ahead and tweak these trees to your liking all right so let's get back into that tweak session and actually talk about what these tweaks are and how you can use it now for this tweak what i'm going to do is i would go ahead and import them now the tweaks that i've downloaded has to do with the oak so i'm just going to come over to the file append and simply append the tweak which i have so right here we have the oak leaf i'm just going to double click go directly inside and i'm going to go ahead and click on object double click directly inside the object select this and simply append this directly into our scene now with this directly in our scene what we can do is we can just simply move this and i'm going to press the period key just so that you can take a very cool look at this so this is what we have and we want to use this to populate the entire three so for us to actually get this going i'm going to simply click here select the oak leaves and i'm going to do the same thing for the sides and then you can see we have a bunch of trees just generated for us now if you don't want to see this within the sides of course you can just simply click here and you can get this out and if you want to see them there of course you can just simply add them at the same time and from here you can see that we can increase and reduce the density of how much tweaks that we want directly here in our scene you can also play with the age limit so in case you want to increase and reduce the age limit you can also go ahead and play with that and at the same time once you have all of these things going you can actually preview this using Eevee, which is actually a very good renderer of choice to see what we have. So for here, I'm just going to simply put a simple grid and I'm going to scale this all the way up. And you can see how this really looks. We're definitely going to get into animation, so just keep your eyes open for that. And at the same time, if you've been wondering about how can you grow these trees, of course, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can grow a tree from small all the way up and you can see with this you can actually create impressive looking trees in no time so let's talk about how you can grow your trees so just in case you want to grow a tree for example you want to get something that just spawns from the ground all the way up we're going to create a brand new scene right now where we're going to try all of that so we're creating a new scene and i'm going to just get rid of suzanne the monkey of course i'm going to press uh, shift and a to get the groove and we have this groove here next thing which i want to do is just press the period key get right into it press n on a keyboard come over here and click on the word record actually i want this tree to be about let's say 20 years old so i want it to be about 20 years old i want one single tree and at the same time i want to record this process about 25 so i think 25 intervals would be really really cool and then the next thing which you want to do is grab a coffee and press the word record now once you press the record this is going to go ahead and actually create a tree create an animation at the same time for you with some very impressive stuff that you really like to see all right so with this ready to go what we want to do now is just zoom all the way back and press the back button just to make sure that we are where we want to be Press the playback button and of course you're going to notice that this tree is just spawning and growing. Of course there is a certain, you know, differences when it grows but then it kind of makes a lot of sense when you see it grow. At the same time you will notice our animation kind of stops at 250. We want to actually scale this to about 1000. Sorry, so we want to scale this to about 1000 and actually push this all the way to that point. And at the same time if you're wondering if you can get... You know if you can get those tweaks directly in here and also see them react as this tree grows of course you can do that we can go over to the file menu append and bring back the tweak which we have and just bring it directly in here and set it to be which of them this one all right so we can set it to be that and if we press the playback button one more time you're going to see that this happens now if you are bothered about this particular one which you have directly here what you can do is pretty simple so i can just simply grab onto this one let's scroll all the way down to where we have it let's right click actually we should be right here so we're going to simply close this right click create a brand new collection drag it and drop it directly into this collection now i can simply close this out and then you can see our flourishing nice tree so this is how you can create your tree animation with little or no time so you can use the block the attract you can use the deflect and the shade to actually coordinate or you know position or should i say give the tree some sort of behavior towards things around it so if you want it to block out things of course you can actually add up something there and it's going to go ahead and grow the tree all around that particular stuff and just block it from should i say a supposed sunlight at the same time if you want it to get attracted to a certain thing of course it's going to go ahead and get attracted to that you can also use it to deflect certain stuff so it's not going to grow within the parameters of that stuff 
All right, so with that out of the way, you can play with all of these parameters that you have directly here and create some very interesting stuff. So you can go through, play with these things, and you know, push the bounds of how much stuff that you want. But then I want to show you guys one cool stuff. Now, the cool stuff which I want to show you guys has to do with the animation. So I kind of pitched or shared a very tiny clip about this on the community. So just in case you're not following up with the community, that is where we get to share some stuff. And fun fact, we're going to be having a couple of giveaways within a couple of weeks. So keep an eye open for those. And I guess they are going to be very, very interesting. So just keep an eye open for those ones. Now, for this, what I want to share with you guys is this. Now, if you want this tree to animate, what you can do is just simply come down here and just hit the animate button. And automatically, it is going to go ahead and fire up the animation and you can see that happening directly here so if you want to get an animation happening on or in your scene you can use the animate button to actually cause this to animate of course this is going to go all the way from 0 to 100 to calculate this and the minute it is done you're going to have an animated tree directly in your scene so you can see how lovely we have a cute tree animation happening really really quick so really really quick you can see that happening as quick as it is and i think i'm going to share this model with you guys so just in case you want this i'm going to put a link to the gum road where you can get this model and i know a couple of you guys will be saying but you know we don't have the plugin how is it going to work now there is a thing with how this tool is set up and i will explain that in just a bit if you click on the mesh directly here within your scene hierarchy you would notice that we have particles now this particle simply suggests two things it suggests two things in the sense that this is a particle and this other one is a particle so if i come over here hit shift a go down to this place and click and create susan the monkey what we can do is to scale this susan the monkey down and at the same time i can just press g and x and move the susan to one side and also click and just simply drop her here so in case you have your own twigs plants your own leaves you want to you know populate directly here all you have to do is just grab onto this object go over to the particles section directly in the particles section you may want to go all the way down to render now if you go all the way down to render you're going to see where we have objects and you can see instance objects so with the eyedropper tool you can just simply select susan the monkey and boom you have a tree filled up with susan the monkey so let's just zoom directly in here and you can see susan the monkey is every single where so let's also come through and grab onto susan directly from here and let's see if we can scale her a little bit so i'm also going to turn this on so i'm going to grab onto susan and scale her a little bit and you can see just like marsh in maya you can get that feeling directly here the same kind of feeling you get when you're playing with cloners in cinema 4d yes yeah. so you can see susan the monkey is every single place so once you get a model like this all you have to do is come directly over to this section and you can populate these two places with different objects okay so this is how you get it to work so if you want to get this add-on for blender all you have to do is go to the groove 3d.com where you can find every single thing that you need for this and at the same time if you want to download this of course you can come over to the buy page i'll probably make a couple of trees drop them on gumroad so that you guys can go ahead and play with it just in case you want that and of course they're a little bit pricey but it is totally worth it if you want to get 3d objects or you know want to get free stuff that has to do with blender or probably you just need free 3d objects that you can use in your scene link to free contents for free friday is going to be in the description so that you can get those and you can do with them whatever you please and that's about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video you learned something from it go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace